Hey guys, I'm Shayan from Scar Studios. So today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a simple way to create abstract pot or column shapes in Blender. It'll all be procedural, so you can create amazing shapes with very little effort. And I'm sure anyone can do this, even beginners who are just starting out. So I'm going to open up Blender. So if you're a beginner, you guys can see the keys I'm pressing in my uh, right corner of the screen. So all you gotta do is press shift, uh, shift and A and create a plane and tab into edit mode, select everything and press Alt M and click at center. And we have one point in, uh, in the middle of our screen and we're gonna press one and G, we're going to move that point to a side and E, we're going to extrude it up and now we're going to add a screw modifier and now we are going to just extrude with E and move it like this and could do whatever you want just create some abstract shapes where you want and you guys can see it the mesh is following the path we are creating a nice shape on our way so we we'll put it on top and create our shape now I'm gonna add a subdivision surface modifier and add a solidify modifier and put solidify modifier on top of our subdivision surface modifier and increase the thickness a bit into the minus make it about minus 0 0.5 so it's inside so yeah that's it guys we have something we want and I'm going to show you guys how I created a few shapes in my thumbnail so we're gonna leave this we're gonna move this by G to a side and I'm gonna do the same thing create a plane tab in edit mode alt M center we have this shape and while I'm in edit mode I'm gonna move this to a side and E to extrude E to extrude again and E to extrude so now Gonna select these two points and subdivide it about four, uh, about four times and do the same thing right click and subdivide now I'm gonna select each one of these vertices like leave one and shift select all these vertices and G X I'm going to move them in the x-axis and I'm going to do the same thing add a screw modifier and a subdivision uh, solidify modifier and a subdivision surface modifier okay so we have this shape if you feel like it's too wonky you guys can just select these points and move it a bit further and select this point and Good proportional editing, select sphere and with G X move it close with the mouse wheel you can make this shape where you like or you can select this smooth and G X you can create a nice shape the mouse wheel so and increase in the minus direction and we still have a hollow in the bottom of our so, pot so all I gotta do is create a, a press apply and tab into edit mode select this with alt and press alt m and center and yeah or just scale it in, deselect proportional edit mode, go to edit, and scale it in. 
and B have a few shapes here now and I'm going to open up some reference images and see whether I can create one of these shapes as well. So it's not so hard, just open up a reference image and check whether you guys want to create it. Maybe I will create this shape. So all you gotta do is move this to a side, shift A, create plane, tabulated mode, all tab, center, and G, I'm going to move it to the side, E to extrude, E, and add a screw modifier with control 2 at the subdivision surface modifier. And if you can't see the power vertices, press Alt Z. So you go into extreme view and there you go we have something like we saw in the reference image we can subdivide this and add more vertices and subdivide and more vertices gz and there's another shape now we're going to do the materials. So I'm going to place everything in Z, zero in the Z location and do some shading. So I've downloaded some textures from textures.com. You guys can do the same thing. Go to textures.com. It's all for you guys, you guys can download any texture you want, there are a few nice cool materials in textures.com. So I have downloaded a few of these marble materials, some of these materials, and I'm going to use those to create our shaders. So let's go into the shading tab, and create a material, new material. And if you guys have the node triangle add-on enabled in user preferences, add-ons, type node triangle add-on enable, uh, enable the checkbox and press control T, then you have this, press, we are going to plug this into our subsurface color and increase the subsurface to 1 and open up our images and I'm going to select this material select the albedo map and move it on top and duplicate it with shift D put this to a side plug it in and select non color data and plug this to the roughness and open our roughness map And there you go, make it non color data. And I'm gonna select duplicate it again, plug this, and now I'm gonna shift A and type normal map and plug the normal into the normal and plug the color into the color and cancel it and open our normal texture blue texture and make it non color data as well so then we have this nice material but we have to UV unwrap this so it'll look good so what we have what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the screw modifier and now we're going back to x-ray view mode with alt z or pressing this button over here and we are going to select one edge of this part with all left click this not this but somewhere in the middle press it and press all left click and press control E and now mark scene 
so that mark same that you have same. Now with A select the whole thing and we are going to press U to unwrap it. Now in U editing we have simple unwrap. So I think for this but this small part this looks fine. So we're gonna leave it like that. I'm going back to shading and now we have this material. Now we're gonna create same thing but a different material for this so i'm going to add the same material we just created and add another material on top of this so i'm going to duplicate everything shift d and you cancel all these materials and add a new texture so i'm going to select this albedo map and this roughness and make it non-color data open and add the normal map to that material with all with control shift you can see the material over here it can see it's a bit wonky as well so we're gonna apply this rule modifier and Increase the viewport, and now we're going to do the same thing to this. We're going to select all, select one edge, and with Control E, mark a seam, select everything with a U, unwrap. There you go. So you guys can see a hard seam in the side, but we're going to turn this around because this is going to be a simple render. So you guys can see the material change in the first part as well because we couldn't press 2 so I'm gonna press select this and press 2 and delete this material X and select this PSD shader and control shift left click and we have the material over here now we are going to add a gradient texture select gradient texture and add a mix shader and plug it in between plug the other BSD shader in the middle and we plug our gradient texture in the middle as well so I'm going to add a texture coordinate to this with control T as well and rotate it in the Y axis to about 90 degrees and add a color going to bring these two together a bit closer so we have a nice differentiation of our material so I'm just gonna place this closer together and do a simple lighting setup create a plane with S I'm gonna scale it and press 10 Shift D duplicate it and Rx rotating the nine uh, x axis 90 degrees and G Y move it. I think I can duplicate it. I did, but I press Ctrl Z and undo it. Rx 90. There you go. I create a camera with Ctrl A select camera and control alt zero replace my camera move it closer with g y and move it a bit closer i'm going to do some simple lighting create a lamp move it on top scale it Five shift D R A R Y ninety here and shift D R R Z ninety. So we have a backlight over here. I'm gonna increase this to about two thousand. This to about thousand. 
and this to about a thousand as well. No, we are going to world settings and make it black. And there you go, guys. And I'm going to render these in cycles. So I'm going cycles and might decrease the top lamp a bit. Also, if you guys feel like ha adding a handle to this part we created, we can add a curve. So I'm going to select this part because it's already in the middle. So I'm going to add a curve path. Or, yeah, I'm just going to create a curve path. And tab into edit mode. Select everything. I'm not going to move it unless I'm in edit mode. So go tab into edit mode move it over here and select one of these points and just move the points where you like your handle to be so let's say I want my handle to look like this like this yeah that'll do so now I'm going to geometry settings I'm going to increase the depth about seven meters. Increase the res resolution to about eight, and I'm gonna select this and add the same material we had in first plan. And it won't work now, anyways, because we need to convert this to mesh. I'm going to Shift D and duplicate it, and Control and press R Z 180. We have our handles so I'm going to select these two and press F uh, Control J and press F3 and type convert and object convert to mesh from curve you can see this and I'm not sure whether this is the correct material uh, nope, so this second material, so I'm gonna create a second. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, if you guys enjoyed these videos, please leave a like and a comment below, and that'll keep me encouraged and motivated to make more videos like this. And uh, if you guys enjoy my tutorials, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you, guys.